first it is something that one simply opens, like a savings account or a jar of pickles. Any self-respecting academic institution was doubtlessly opened long ago by dignified people who wore bowler hats and spoke via subtitle, The world is a creation of the past, and it is our job to keep it all going and try not to touch anything. Hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. questions. No, I will not be your friend. University gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. The timetable has now been published. Schedule your lives accordingly. This is Campus Radio and I'm your host, Felicity Bellbottoms. Speculation continues to build over that smell in the lecture theatre. But what should you believe? Did someone really stuff a block of cheddar under one of the seats? Or is it haunted? The answer may surprise you. Welcome new students. We're more afraid of you than you are of us. in the science lab. Now taking students for Scientography.
decided to care about students. Time for a book review. Over to Maggie, who's been reading the memoirs of Two Point Radio's longest tenure DJ. This week, I've been reading A Life on the Waves by Ricky Hawthorne. Oh, so good. Really, really good. Because I didn't know before, actually, that he spent so much time at sea. Or, well, near any water, really, and that's just super interesting. It doesn't matter how desperate you are. No urinating on campus facilities.
skills are not transferable. Lecture starting now. The renovation of a library might sound like a good thing, but here's Hugh to tell us why it's actually quite sad. Here in Smogley, students have been looking forward to the renovation of the old campus library. The carpet is plush and the study areas are dressed with kettles and bean bags. The library is alive and bustling, but the old bookcases are left on the outside, looking in. Yes, three old bookcases stand on the lawn outside the library, a monument to a past that's now over. Spare a thought for them as you enjoy a sleek, frictionless library experience. Students are reminded that I'm not your mum.
breakfast can be hard for us all. Toast again? Ugh, I hate it here! Uh-oh, give those heckling kids something new to chew on. Ah. Only Hoglog cereal combines four times of wheat with a salt... Crunch of crispy bog skin. It doesn't matter how desperate you are. No urinating on campus facilities. Healthy body, healthy mind. I came up with that. And there we have it. It's being reported that that smell in the lecture theatre was, indeed, a large piece of cheese. We're hearing that a member of the janitorial staff was seen retrieving the putrid wedge in a hazmat suit, though this particular source has been known to exaggerate. We can only hope the smell dissipates and our community can breathe deeply and cheeselessly once again. Administrator is reminded to stay hydrated.
location is non-refundable. to be inspirational. Students are asked not to ask questions. Security breach, please change your passwords. Sorry. Students are reminded that you came here on purpose.
listening to Ricky Hawthorne. On Two Point Radio. Good day, I'm Ricky Hawthorne and welcome to the show. On my drive-in this morning, I was speedily overtaken by a car full of whippersnappers, pipsqueaks and good for some things. I couldn't tell what they were chanting, but it certainly did look like fun. <laughs> so today, only partly because I've got nothing else planned, I thought I'd pay tribute to those young people by telling you a few stories from my glory days. Tuition fees may be spent on administrative bonuses. where your class is, is it really worth going? Unauthorized talking on campus. Thank you. Students are reminded to have the time of their lives. For those of you who don't know how I spent my formative years, I was born, bred and buttered right here in Two Point County before attending what was then called Two Point University. I think it's still called that now, but it was then too. Right, top draw anecdotes coming up, but first, here's another toe tapper.
tuition fees are expensive and education is priceless. The more you revise, the longer you've been revising. When it comes to food, sometimes simple living is happy living. Don't get me wrong, I'm incredibly lucky to eat a wide range of things nowadays, from chicken sandwiches to pastas of seemingly infinite shapes and lengths. But I'll never forget that time at university when I lived off an enormous block of cheddar. I was said to be mostly cheese by the end of term, and you know, I think they were right. Questions. Yes, we are testing you. Construction.
distracted students should pretend that they're listening. announcement. Plants need water, remember? Students should check in before trying to learn. Time for Sir Nigel Reviews. And thanks to the enlightening intervention of our wonderful producers, you, the audience, have chosen the object of our desires this week. The public's collective wisdom has entrusted me with hog logs. I'm told a popular choice of breakfast cereal. Let's get this over with, shall we? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It almost tastes like pork scratchings. Ooh. Now taking students for virtual normality. The timetable is not written in stone. Still, we're not changing it. Students are reminded to set reminders.
is a test announcement, not a real announcement. Apologies for the abrupt end to our last segment. I've had a quick rinse and can commence with our review. The border of sweet and savory is, for some perverse reason, the fashion in fine dining circles, so I suppose it only makes sense. <laughs> of fads. Mm -hmm.